I think Gina Long, to her great credit, has um, assembled a number of people who were very, uh, very close to Sir Bobby, the late great Sir Bobby. Um, you know, most importantly, Mick Mills, who was his club captain, who lifted the FA Cup and the UEFA Cup, and a number of others um, in the local <coughs> um, media here, and other people who were close to him and asked me, I think, probably from my, my connection with Ipswich Town and with the FA, because I've been a director of the FA for 12 years, and of course Bobby was a pretty successful manager of England for eight years. So um, it was a great thrill to be asked. Um, <clears throat> you know, we hold all of these great players, and they were great players. I mean, they're really icons uh, in this part of the world, and for those in the football uh, football fans who are old enough to remember, I'm often in a London taxi and people will recite me this whole team's name, you know. So when, when, whenever I, uh, people ask where I come from and I tell them that this team, had the, had the Champions League existed, would have been in the Champions League six years running, people, I think it really just says what an extraordinary uh, manager Bobby Robson was. So I think the opportunity to come and support this charity, um, these reunions have been very well attended, but they've been given an extra resonance um, and an extra sense of meaning by being able to raise money uh, for Breakthrough and for Sir Bobby's charity. So <clears throat> um, both intimately connected with cancer and um, you know, a, a way in which to make history uh, relevant um, to today's generation and create a legacy that is really worth something um, from this reunion.